your actions have changed the world. Hello, hello, and welcome back to the world of assassination and the subscriber contracts. And today's contract, Sugar Free Red Bull, set in Miami. And the contract ID is on the screen now for anyone who wishes to have a crack at it, and has been supplied to us today, courtesy of Paul Anderson 37. So on to our briefing, Ferrari F1 team principal Frederick Vasseur is getting tired of Red Bull winning all the time. It's Ferrari's time again. He has got in touch with 47 to make these five targets disappear as they have been sabotaging their own teams for Red Bull in return for shares in the company. Make F1 great again. So moving on to our targets, and today we have five of them. One must be eliminated whilst disguised as the waiter with consumed poison, and the remaining four must be eliminated whilst disguised as the Kowoon mechanic, two in accident explosions, one in a falling object kill, and one via injected poison. We also have only one exit available to us, and we can only get headshots, we must only eliminate our targets, no bodies can be found excluding accidents and poisons, we must not be spotted, and we cannot be recording as our objectives. So for today's challenge, we'll be starting as the waiter, and we'll be bringing with us our ever trusty lockpick, a vial of lethal poison, and our silenced pistol. So right from the start and off the bat, we are going to finish wiping down the bar here, and if we are quick enough and make our way out of the pit building where the driver's lounge is, and across to the Kowoon motorhome and you can see there is a Kowoon uh, mechanic just on his way in and we get blocked by this waiter but if we add our lethal poison to this bottle of beer right here just in time for our first target as he arrives to then pick it up, sample it and find that it's not his brand so, target one taken care of, we're now going to make our way down into the pit changing area. We're just going to wait for this enforcer guard to move away, and then we can make our way back inside and down into the pits where we will find a Kowoon mechanic outfit and the pit key card that we will require. So the key card's just here on this bench, and the outfit is just here on this bench. So we're going to retrace our steps back up to the ground floor and into the Aeon Mechanics Garage. And in here there is one gentleman and he is our target. He's an accident explosion elimination. And so we're just going to pull out our silence pistol, shoot the propane cylinder against the wall there, that will get our target's attention, and when he comes over to investigate, we can then detonate the propane cylinder. So we're now going to make our way back down through the pit changing room area, and through to the other side. And unfortunately, my hard drive is beginning to suffer quite badly now, as we get another skip. And we're going to take out the surveillance camera at the top of the stairs, make our way into the Kowoon pit area, and our target is right over in the corner there, also stood next to a propane cylinder. So we're just going to quickly put two shots into that, and that will eliminate our next target, and that will cause quite a lot of panic, so we're just going to make our way quickly upstairs here, and out of sight of most people. 
Now I was relying on the guard at the bottom of the stairs to go into the Kowoon pit to investigate the explosion, but he's not paid enough to care and he's gone back to his usual routine. So we need to move him out of the way so that we can get into the Kronstad pit, which is up the stairs and to the right. Uh, so let's try uh, our silence pistol. So we're going to pull out our pistol and just shoot a shot here on the bottom of the stairs. And again, he's not paid enough to care. So we're going to make our way back to the Awun uh, pit area and we'll find something. Ah, yes, a fire extinguisher will do nicely. Uh, just making sure that all of the other guards who are concerned about the explosion don't spot us as they're all in forces. So we're going to throw our fire extinguisher just at the bottom of the stairs there and that finally gets our guard's attention and when he goes off to investigate we can now finally make our way into the Kronstad pit. We're just going to run right through to the end here and there is our target working on one of the cars. He's currently engaged in a conversation and there is another mechanic outside who we will also need to keep an eye on. So when the conversation between our target and his colleague finishes, we can then line up a shot with the gas cylinder that is pneumatically holding the car up on the ramp, which will then drop it on our target for a falling accident kill. Now this conversation does take a little while and once that guy moves away we still need to make sure that the other mechanic outside to our left now will not be facing this way so we're just gonna stand on this side here crouch down I'm gonna swap shoulders as I usually use the right shoulder and for this we're gonna use the left shoulder and we're still waiting for the mechanic to move who has finally just moved away and if we shoot the pneumatic cylinder, that will drop the car on our target for an accident falling object. We're then going to make our way out of the Kronstad pits towards the medical center where our last target is located. We're just going to wait for the camera to pan off to the right before we make our way into the storage room. We're going to lockpick the cabinet on the wall here and retrieve the lethal syringe from within and then make our way back out into the rear of the medical center. We're just going to take care of that camera finally and then we're going to select our lethal syringe. We're going to turn off the generator just here and then we're going to wait by the pit doors which should have closed but haven't. That is another little problem that seems to be occurring more often than not that doors do no longer close behind you. So eventually our final target will arrive and once he is in position to turn off the generator we can then jab him with our needle for an injected poison elimination. So that is all of our targets taken care of. Uh, we have only to make good our escape and unfortunately our only exit is on the very far end of the map. So really I should have started at the other end, uh, at this end even, and worked my way back. So we're just going to wait for the guard in the Kronstad pit there to remove the uh, previous target. There he goes. Once he gets near that door we're going to bolt after him. And once we get through here, we are safe once again. We're going to use the pit area to make our way through the, uh, the changing room area to make our way through the pits and then back out onto the more public areas, avoiding the enforcer guards as we go. And we can make our way out of the event and to the main entrance and away from Miami. So there we go, one more subscriber contract taken care of. Quite an enjoyable one this, especially with the briefing there that did give me a little chuckle. 
So we have confirmation all of our targets were eliminated according to plan. We did meet all of our objectives, which will of course gain us our silent assassin rating. I have been Anubis, and I will see you all in the next video.